Good, good morning, everyone. It is the AM session of Wednesday, and we are here with two important people from the College of Health, COH. We are with Lucas and Dorothy as the speaker, and Lucas as our student to be interviewed today by the College of COE students. So welcome all of you, and enjoy the short interview today. Hello, Miss Dorothy. Yeah. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation for an interview. And you know, I was so inspired with your message that, and also I remember your topic that focused on the unconditional love of God and His wonderful plan in our lives. So um, for our questions, the first one is, um, can you kindly tell me about your preparations for this year, week of prayer, and what you have experienced, if you have experienced any challenges through your preparations? Yes, um, for the preparations, of course, uh, it was fully reliance of for to God. I had a lot of um, realizations on my where is my spirituality because of this, and I learned that I could, cannot do this on my own, and I have to really meditate on him so i what i do is every morning i really talk to him because i know who i am that i i am not that knowledgeful on the bible especially this topic is a little dialogical but through his grace he really taught me what to say he really uh, i really hear his words and um, for the challenges, of course, there's a lot of challenges, especially on my part, like knowing who I am. I am, I have to deny my, um, my thoughts on myself because if I think that I can do this, if I think that um, I am good, I know that I will not deliver this on His will. That's the, that's the challenges that I can share. So good morning, Brother Lucas. For um, the message earlier is very, uh, you know, it's a theory-eyed message wherein there's a lot of impact and realizations that I've I've learned from that message. So how about you? What values did you learn from the message this morning? Um, okay, so. Um, the sermon was very inspiring, actually. Um, actually, I've known Dorothy for a while now, and to hear this story for, coming from her was um, a revelation because you realize just how many people also go through sufferings, that there are so many that go around, but then ultimately, Christ is the one that carries you through it, that the resilience you build um, doesn't just come from you, it comes mostly from God. You build it, you create it, um, you test it, and by the time it becomes to its full potential, you build it again because it's not just done, you know, it's not just at that level, it goes to another one. And so by hearing um, Dorothy's story and her sermon today, really inspired me to realize that my resiliency isn't just at this level, it continues on, you know, and there is a lot more that I have to learn, and by allowing God to guide me through my life and to have Christ be the one to carry me, then I would be able to most definitely go into the next level of my residency, you know, through the next suffering that I have to go through. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, for the last question for you, Sister Dorothy, can you please describe the effects of your topic for on the students' lives since the AUP students are the target audience for this week's event? But of course, it was not limited to the students so what do you think are the effect of your topic entitled suffering what went wrong yes I was um, I was very nervous about this because I know that many students here are very intelligent <laughs> like they have a lot of questions and I was so um, I was so intimidated Yes, I was intimidated by them because I know that they are really smart <laughs> and they can be, uh, no, you know. <laughs> so what I really think is that um, this message is very important for them, not only, not only for them to, um, to have a 
immediate impact but you know it could be planted it is seed that can plant be planted in their hearts and someday i know that maybe right now they don't um, really accept the message but someday they will know because i really prayed for this message and i know god will work in them indeed thank you so much for that answer sister dorothy and also the phrase that made an impact on me is that a phrase that says God will not allow us to be tempted beyond our capabilities so thank you so okay for your last question also brother Lucas um, why do you think this topic is relevant for you as a student okay boy do I got an answer okay <clears throat> okay so as we all know okay we're all students naturally as students, we're going to go through very, very hard struggles, especially when it comes to studies, when it comes to just living life here on campus, even going outside. Um, ultimately, university, college life is going to be the hardest point so far in our life because study, the balance between study, our spiritual life, our personal life, our social life is going to be a mess at times, sometimes. and definitely having the, the resiliency, having that relationship with God to help build us up through those struggles will keep us through those times where we have to really, really struggle, right? So something that I can definitely take away from this, like Dorothy said, when we're faced with those struggles, or when we're faced with those temptations, when we're faced with all sorts of things that come our way, we can always rely on God. We can always rely on Christ to, to, to keep us, to help us through those struggles. Yes, you're right. Um, I want to share my experiences also that my realizations about the message earlier that in every struggles, in every cir circumstances that we've um, experienced um, through our lives, this sinful life, this sinful world, that we really need to rely on God and we need to pray unceasingly because um, we all know that God is love, right? Even we are sinners, we, God is there for us to accept us, to be His children. And thank you for answering that question. Yeah. Okay, that concludes that God has a wonderful plan for us. So that's all for our uh, session, for our interview for today's session. So thank you so much, Sister Dorothy and Brother Lucas for accepting our invitation in this interview. Thank you so much and God bless.